Imagine if the police gave criminals a warning before they searched their financial records or their computer hard drives. Imagine if the criminals could charge the police money for the time it took them to clean up their records, erasing their hard drives, or trashing their CCTV footage. Think it might be tough for us to catch criminals? Well, that's how our Freedom of Information Act works. We tell government agencies what we want to see. The government then charges us for the time it takes them to search, gather, and review those records. And not overnight either. And not in a few weeks, but months. And then finally, after a long ordeal, they come to you and say, oh, here's those records that you were looking for. Well, I think that's what happens. I wouldn't know. I haven't got to that part yet. But if you want to take a look inside what's been going on with one of these criminal organizations, I mean government agencies, then stay tuned. Thanks for watching. This is Jaren's. Ignition sequence start. Three, two, one. Houston, we have a problem. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake. 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 What's going on, everyone? Jaron from Jaronism here with an update. Got to show you and point to exactly how the FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, is going for me. Now, let's remember one thing. So, everything that NASA has ever done, built, filmed, fixed, or faked, was done with the taxpayer's money. Okay, we know that. I asked for a spacewalk video as part of the Freedom of Information Act from 2006. That's it. I didn't say go back to 1930 and find this video. I said, can I see this spacewalk video from 2006? So far, it has been five months and $1,400, and I got nada. Let's see why. So many of you might remember back in February, I made a Freedom of Information Act request for a 2006 spacewalk. The person who contacted me back that I was in communication with was this Jessica Cordero from the Johnson Space Center that is in Houston, Texas. So the first email that I got was on 316 that she said she had attached a letter that requires your immediate attention and response. And basically that was a fee sheet that said that the total would be $1,000 or thereabouts. So I responded in kind of long form here, as you can see on April 3rd. And I started that conversation out by saying, please note that I am responding within the 20 days required. My calendar has the day as April 3rd, 2018. And the email was sent to me dated March 16th, 2018. According to this website, which is time and date, it places this response at 18 days. Now, many people might say, why did you act like that? Why would you ever come across like that? Well, let's just say I understand and know NASA pretty well at this point. I knew it was important to at least point out that I had responded in the required time. This way they couldn't say, well, you didn't respond. Sorry, we didn't get to it. So I just wrote that at the beginning of the letter. And then I go on and basically ask a lot of questions about why I cannot be considered media since I do reporting to the public um, because she said basically they were going to charge me $1,000 for it. So I had a problem with that. I also had a problem with the amount of time that it would take, according to her, to get this tape. It's only from 2006. Why was it going to take so long? Uh, 12 hours, I think she said, to uh, basically record that onto digital format. I had questions about why is it on not on digital format already. So basically, I asked all those questions, and that was all on April the 3rd. So then I say, so ultimately, I request to be reclassified, and I would appreciate a much reduced price for the full version of the best quality possible. I have no issue paying. However, if I'm going to pay $1,075, can you please show me uh, what is costing that price, as the public has a right to know? Thanks so much. So, needless to say, I never received a email back from Jessica. So then on the 9th of April, which was, uh, you know, what, six days later, I sent her a message, and this was after I had announced on Globusters that the total price was $1,075, and I didn't think it was really worth paying. And then we had a $600 donation at that moment, which then made me say, oh, well, if you guys want me to keep going with this, I will if we can raise enough money. So I said, well, let me go ahead and just tell them that we will pay for it. So on the 9th of April, I sent a message, Jessica, we have decided to pay for this. Uh, can you tell me if it's guaranteed I will get the entire video or is there some chance I get no video and my money kept? Uh, thanks so much. So then on 422, I said, Jessica, did you receive my response? 
this is a lot of money. And so I'm just trying to confirm that you for sure have the tape and can deliver it in a digital media that I can view before I agree to the thousand dollars. Can I call you? So that was my questions to Jessica because she had not responded back to my very first response. And then came the first sign of total and complete nonsense from these people. You'll see here on 423, I got an email from Jessica that says, Hello, Mr. Campanella. Since our office did not receive any response from you within the amount of time as noted in the letter, your request is closed. If you are wanting to resubmit your request, you can still do so, but you're required to make an advance payment as noted in the letter. We are unable to process the request until the advance payment is received. If you want to speak by phone, let me know. So I'm like, what? What do you mean you didn't receive a response in time? I had already responded two times earlier. Then I said, did you receive my response? Hello. And then she's responding to my 422 email on 423 saying, since our office did not receive any response in the required time. Complete and total nonsense. So the thing that happened after that was a telephone conversation in which I told her I did send you the email and I in fact uh, put a screenshot and dated the time and date website to show that I had sent it within the 20 days. So you'll see this email sent on May the 16th or it could be May the 18th, I can't read it from here. Uh, says, thanks for the quick follow-up, let me answer below, but you'll see in her email dated May 1st that it says, uh, thank you so much for following up on this request and as stated during our phone call earlier today, Please accept my apologies for overlooking the email that you had sent, resent me below that was confirmed to be within the response time frame. Uh, as mentioned, I will reopen your case. So she admitted then that she, I did send the email on time and she was sorry for not finding it. Hey, if anybody loses emails, it's me. So I understand and everything was forgiven and let's move on. Then came this series of very long and uh, strange questions. Okay, so the first one says, we will require that you send us a brand new unopened hard drive for file delivery with the amount of footage that will be provided, that is our process. The hard drive must be new and unopened to protect our IT systems from viruses and malware. I am waiting for the physical address and point of contact of where you can deliver this to. I also recommend that you send this using a certified mail service. Uh, so my response to her was, okay, no problem, but what size should the drive be? You didn't tell me anything about that. It should be, you know, one terabyte, five terabytes, I don't know. And also, wouldn't it be easier for them to buy it and then just add it to the amount that I'm already paying you? Why would you make me go out and buy a hard drive if you're worried about your IT systems and you go buy one? Makes no sense. Anyway, uh, number two question says, do you want all external footage during the EVA or only shots where the crew is in the field of view? One of the challenges with Russian uh, EVAs is that there are no external US cameras on the Russian segment of the ISS, which means that many times during a Russian EVA, the crew is not in the view of any of the cameras. We can certainly provide all external footage during the EVA, but cannot guarantee that the crew will. Okay, I said, yes, I would like to see the crew. No need for extra empty camera views. She then asks, do you want to see the NASA TV coverage of the EVA as well as the downlinks? Uh, if that is the case, it will be easier to provide the whole broadcast, which might include prep time. If we need to trim the broadcast, that will actually take more time to do. Okay, it's getting exhausting. So I said, please do what is easiest for you. My only requirement is being the cleanest shot of the astronauts for the EVA. Uh, anything that takes more time, trimming or ending one feed to switch to another, don't do. Just do what's easiest and I'll skip the empty parts myself. Then she asks... Um, this one really isn't a question, but more of a heads up. Uh, it appears that only the U.S. astronaut was wearing a helmet camera. This is not unusual for Russian EVAs, but if you're expecting the full amount of video coverage that the EVA gets, you may be disappointed. So I respond with uh, one helmet cam seems fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, just give me whatever you've got, right? I mean, it's not a big deal here. So if you notice, I've said nothing demanding, nothing. I'm totally in agreement with everything they're saying. Uh, and then she says regarding the audio, the NASA TV coverage usually has... Uh, communication from the crew and the ground with a uh, with a translation. Uh, we cannot say for certain what audio is available until we pull the tapes. I put no problem. If the audio is separate, then don't even worry. If it's part of the footage, I'll take it. Just basically saying anything. doesn't matter. Easy as possible. After that was done, we had another phone conversation, I believe in early June. Uh, then on 6-4, she re replies, this is a follow-up to our last telephone conversation. As discussed, we need the advance payment and the hard drive before work can be done, and she attached a fee estimate letter and the invoice, which provides the payment instructions. So I got that information. The price went up a little bit, uh, not a bunch. So now that we had the total price, Bob and I went and looked at the Globuster Super Chats ever since the day of the $600 donation all the way through that June 4th. 
I added that up and minus Google's 30% and came to about 800 somewhere in there. And then I knew that we needed $610. So you're looking at the screen now. And thanks to 13 awesome donors in less than a week, this FOIA request was funded. Uh, big thanks to Joe Deshawn, who had a huge donation, and also Patricia Steer. Thank you very much for your large donation as well. So we were all funded, and it was just then getting the money off to NASA. On 6-12, uh, I said, just letting you know, I'm about to pay, and we'll be shipping the hard drive out tomorrow. Do you have an estimate on how long this might take to get the footage? And you'll notice that that email was on 612. So shortly after that, on also 612, I went to pay the price, the initial, the 75% that was required, which was 980 something or somewhere around there. So what happened was I went to the link that she gave me. It was a strange, older looking kind of input uh, link, which I did. I input my credit card information, input my address. Everything was fine. Uh, the amount was uh, 983 or whatever it was. And then I hit submit. So then after that, the web page seemed to halt for, you know, five or 10 seconds. And then it came back with an orange box that said declined. So I thought, oh, great. And then within two or three seconds after that, I got a text message like I do whenever any card purchase is made. And it told me that the transaction went through $993 to NASA. And I went to my account and looked and the money was impending. And so I thought, okay, they did get their money. So then I sent Jessica an email June 12th at uh, 9.49 p.m. It said, Jessica, please check on this payment for me. Uh, first thing it said was declined. Then moments later, I got this text from my bank. And I took a screenshot of that text and showed her that it said um, that there was 136.64 available after a 993, that's the amount, uh, purchase at NASA slash JSC slash NSSC Stennis on 6-12-9.42 p.m. with your blank card ending in blank so as soon as I sent that email, I got this one in return saying that she would be out of the office for a few days. So then on June 14th, I got the email 7.31 a.m. from Jessica saying, good morning, I will send a message to NSCC or NSSC uh, to confirm payment. Also, where did you send the hard drive to and did you have a tracking confirmation to confirm when it arrives? So three or four days later, I get the message that says that she has sent the email to NASA shared services regarding the inquiry about payment and wanted to follow up on the hard drive. Have you sent it? Were you able to track it? If so, let me know who received it. On June 21st, I sent the message saying, Hi, Jessica, tracking number on the terabyte drive is 95055, uh, blankety blank. And thanks so much. Please let me know what I need to do next. On 621, she responded, Thanks for the email. I'm waiting to hear back from NSSC about the payment. I will ping them again to confirm the receipt. All right, then I got an email from Jessica that said, Hello, Jaren, I wanted to let you know that I received a response back from NASA Shared Services Center. And as of today, they have not received any funding for this FOIA request. They said that they are sending a bill in the mail, which is just weird. I didn't even know how they would have my address. Uh, please note that we will need to have the payment before any work is started, and we will also require the final payment before records are released. We will need your advance payment by July 2nd, which is 20 working days from the June 4th letter that we sent you. We can open a new request once funds are received. Also, I tracked the package, and this is the message that it showed. So you'll see the tracking number, and it says, We attempted to deliver your package at 12.40 p.m. on June 25th at Houston, Texas, but could not access the delivery location. We will re-deliver on the next business day. She says, Can you confirm what address you sent the hard drive to so that we can make sure you sent it to the correct address? I replied with this email saying, Geez, can it get any worse? Here is a screenshot from my bank. I do not have another $900 plus to send you because it has been taken out of my account, and now we are two weeks removed. Can you please tell whoever that they need to look closer? I showed you that there was a declined pop-up followed immediately by a text like all my transactions showing the money out. So then I'm showing that on the date 612, it says NASA JSC, NSSC, Stennis space, card ending in, and then $993. I said, I, I can't do anything else because the money's been taken. Also, I sent the hard drive exactly where you said to. Miss Leslie Goss at Maury Associates uh, gave the number there in Houston, Texas. Uh, why did they not deliver it on Monday? Can you please confirm the address and payment? And if no one can find the package, let me go complain. Again, here's the tracking number. She responded with, please contact the NASA Shared Services Center. My office does not get involved with payment issues. I cannot accept the screenshot as proof as stated in the letter. I just received confirmation from NSSC. I will contact Leslie Goss to see if the doors lock at a certain time or what issue might have been for the package not being delivered. Did you sign a USPS that the package could be delivered without signature? If not, that could be the reason. Hopefully it can be delivered today. So I respond on the same day, 626, and I said, package shows delivered as per, and I leave a link to the USPS tracking information. 
And I said, on that payment, that is great that you don't get involved, but if you give me a link and I follow that link and pay you $900, don't you think you have a responsibility to give me the contact of who I should be looking for? That is some total nonsense that you tell me, please contact the NASA Shared Services Center, but do not follow that with a, their email is here or the phone number is here. Can you please respond with who it is that I'll be talking to and I am unsure what you need for proof. Money has left my bank and it says it went to NASA. So what else am I to do? Please confirm receipt as per the tracking number above and please give me the contact info for who I need to be talking to. Did someone mail me a bill you said? To what address and when? I will call my bank tomorrow and ask for proof of transfer, I guess. Could it be because it, I didn't pay in full, which they told me not, they only gave me a bill for 75%. How about you try and pay, the, how about I try and pay the remainder and maybe they will see the total as paid. I don't know how your system works. You should. Thanks so much. So it was at this point that I called my bank and said, what's going on? And that's the call you're about to hear right now. And remember that I took out anything that might be private information. Please hold for our next available agent. This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Thanks for calling. This is Rocky Albany. Hope you today. Oh, uh, yeah. I was wondering if you could help me with a pending transaction. I'm not even sure what that means. Is, it, is the money been taken out of the account, or how does that work? Money was already taken out of the account. However, it is currently pending because we are still waiting for the merchant to collect these uh, transactions on the account. So there's nothing to worry. So on 7-4, uh, it had been a week and I had not heard back. And remember, my last email said, uh, here's the tracking number. It's been delivered. And can you please ask because the money is there. Can you find out what's going on? And uh, so I emailed them and said, it has been a week and I've heard nothing back from you regarding either the missing payment or the receipt of my hard drive. Uh, you have told me to contact NSSC and given me no name or contact info. How do we proceed? Who do I need to email to escalate this process? Thanks so much. So at that point I said, okay, I better go find who I'm supposed to contact because no one's going to tell me. I do a little searching and find out that the NSSC FOIA public liaison is Martha Terry. And I'm assuming that's the person that I need to get in contact with. I message her and I say, Martha, can you please assist me with my FOIA request that has been a long process and what seems like constant issues. I received a link to pay $900 plus for 75% payment. I went to that link and entered my credit card info. The system took a few seconds and then said declined. Not but 10 seconds later, I got a text from my credit card that it was like all other credit card transactions I make. It said payment was made to you in the amount of $993 required. As you can see below, my bank is currently showing a payment made on 612, almost a month ago, in the amount of 993 as required. Mrs. Cordero now tells me that she does not get involved in payment issues despite being the one who sent me the link and giving me no contact info for anyone. I had to go find your info and now I see that you were actually copied on that email. Something I didn't notice before that she had copied uh, this Martha on a previous email. Uh, is that how you guys operate there? I've already sent the required hard drive. It has a tracking number and has been confirmed received as per USPS. I need to know what you need for my bank as proof of payment since Jessica says the uh, you cannot accept bank statements. So I need to know what the bank needs to send you or who do they need to contact since $993 is missing from my account showing paid to NASA JSC NSSC Stannis Space MS and yet the people at NASA think it's okay to say nope sorry no money and we can't help you. Please help me just a little here. Jessica said I have till 7-2, yet she has not replied to my 626 email, much like she f failed to reply to my first email response when this process was delayed initially. I need to know the following. Number one, confirmation of the 75% payment as paid 612 for 993. Number two, confirmation of receipt of my hard drive tracking number blank. Instructions on what to do since I have completed the task required of me. If you are going to still claim you have not been paid, then I need to know what I need to get from the credit card company to prove to you you did. They took the money, they debited They debited my account, so what can I do from here? I would appreciate a little help on your side, please. You people are getting $1,000 to produce a copy of a spacewalk uh, from 2006, for goodness sakes. Thanks so much. So I hear nothing for two days, and then I get an email July 6th from Jessica saying, Mr. Campanella, the office has received your hard drive. However, until the NASA Shared Services Center confirms receipt, my office is unable to begin processing your request. The FOIA office does not get involved with receiving any money. Therefore, you will need to work this financial issue out with NSSC. I have confirmed that no payment has been received so far. NSSC office contacted me and requested an additional mailing address for you. Their office sent an invoice to the address you provided in your FOIA request. The address that I gave them is my P.O. box, which is correct. And it says, but, haven't re but have received a return to sender notice. That's just BS. 
In order to get a return to sender, somebody has to write that on the package. I didn't write, I never got anything. So how would I write that on I mean, my P.O. box? I've been <laughs> ridiculous. Since our office has not received payment, the case will be closed out today. When NSC, when NSSC confirms payment, we can reopen the action to process your request. Please confirm if you want our office to hold on to the hard drive since you are working out the payment issue, or would you like it returned to you? Which makes no sense. Why would I want it returned to me? If I wanted a hard drive, I would buy it for myself. I certainly wouldn't ship it to NASA. That doesn't make any sense. So if I ship them a hard drive, why would I want it back? What do you, what, do you, what games are they playing? Oh, yeah, send it back to me because I want to hold on to it until... What do you mean? To keep the hard drive until you get the money situation figured out. Why would I want it? And so at that point, I started feeling again bad. Like, did I not understand the guy on the phone? So I made another call to my credit card company, and that call is coming up here again, and it's been edited for private information. But in this case, you find out exactly what's going on, that the money's sitting there waiting for them to pick up. And they refuse to pick it up. They just want to close my request. Nonsense. I'll talk to you after the call. Your PIN was accepted. Your card account balance is... You have three pending transactions. Detailed information for all pending transactions is available online. Main menu. Press 1 to hear your balance and trans... Please hold while I transfer you to a customer service representative. Please hold for the next available agent. Thanks for... This is Andy. How can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you could help me with a pending transaction on my account. Uh, I need to know what's going on with it and if the money has been taken out or what's up. Yes, of course. I will be more than glad to assist you with that. Can you provide me your card number? Thank you. Just allow me one moment. Let me take a look on the account. So right now I'm pulling out the information to see the transaction that we're talking about. You mentioned that it's some uh, pending transaction, the one that we want to double check, right? Yeah, it's a, a $993 payment that I made to NASA, and they're now claiming they never got it. And so I looked on my account, and it's showing under pending. But I thought that the money was already taken out of my account. I don't know if it has been or hasn't, but uh, I need to know. When was made that transaction? All the way back June 12th, so it's almost been a month. I'm sorry? I made the transaction on June 12th, so it's almost been a month. Well, just a second, let me take a look at that, a specific transaction, June 12th, on that, see it over here. You mentioned that it's for $900, $0.93? No, $993 and no cents. Okay. So, let me see it right here. Well, actually, for this one, we are expecting this merchant can take the money because uh, the payment in our end was clear, but they are the ones who haven't taken that money from your account. So what do you mean? The money is has not been taken from my total? Yes, the money has been not taken, but this, um, this company... So we are waiting for them to take them this money. Okay, hold on. You, you, you need to see. You, need... you already made the payment, but they are the ones who haven't collected the money from your account. Okay, so I, you just you didn't make sense there. Has the money been taken from my account, my balance? Actually, we hold that payment in order for this merchant can uh, take the money out. That's why it is still pending, because as soon as okay. it is posted, so, we're going to see if they take the money out or not. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is that um, I wanted to make sure that the money has, has been taken from my account balance and put in a basket for them to take, correct? It's, it's their fault for not taking the money. They haven't taken the money from your account. We call in a specific part that money in order to expect him that they can take that money. But this company is the one that who haven't taken that money out. 
we already sent the, the, the request that they can take this payment, but they haven't taken the, the, the payment. Okay, so what, do I, so what do I need to tell them? That the company has uh, not taken the payment. That is the main reason why this is still pending. Okay, well, well, here's, what, here's, the, the money. here's the thing. is that This is for like a, um, a project that was due, and I had to pay them the money. So I paid them the money, mm-hmm. and then as of today, they said they were closing the deal because I never paid them. So what I'm saying is I need to tell them something. I can't just call back and say, oh, well, I did pay because I've already said that, and they have already said they haven't received payment. So what do I tell them? What we can do is um, to request a uh, statement, and you will see that it is still pending on their end because we hold your money for they can take the payment. Can you? Can you? The ones who haven't paid the payment. Thank you. That's what I wanted to know. Okay. So can can you can you send an email or something to either me or them if I give you the email address? Yes. Well, actually, I can send you, but just for mail, I can send it to the to your address. The only way that you can get the statement, it will be at the website. That you can go to the website, you can. Uh, yeah. It here's the thing. Right there. Right away. Yeah, I already did that, and they told me that that's not proof of anything. That I could have faked that, so it's not. They can't. They won't take a screenshot of the payment from my account. Mm-hmm. So that's why I think that the email needs to come, or the letter needs to come from you, because they think mm-hmm. that I could just be lying about it. Oh yes, of course, we are able to send this payment. But in this statement, it says a fee for five dollars and ninety-five cents. Okay. Four dollars and ninety-five cents to send a letter. But, yes, five dollars and ninety-five cents in order to send the, the well. Basically, it's going to be the statement because in the statement you will see that it's pending, but it didn't send because you didn't make it because we are going to send you the uh, statement when it's supposed to be taken. That money when you put it as pending when. Actually, when you want to pay them, and you will see the name of the company, the amount, okay, so, and the hours, and what time do you want to pay that money. Okay, good. So, I mean, the, it's clear that I paid them on June the 12th, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. It will show that it was... Um, well, I'm going to wait. I'm, don't send the... the don't send 12th. the... Don't send the letter yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call them back. I'm going to tell them that they've been paid and that it's pending and that they're supposed to pick it up or whatever. And then if they want the letter sent to them, then they can pay the money. I'm not going to pay it. Mm-hmm. Because, yes, of course. Because okay. we are expecting them to take the money from this account. That's why we hold that money for they can take it out. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. And can I get your, your name so I have uh, this uh, tr- um, you know noted? Yes, it is Andy. Andy? Yes. Okay. We're going to leave some notes that we uh, have this call. Okay, today. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. All right, thanks, Andy. Have a good day. You too. Thank you so much. Great day. Bye. So, all in all, I mean, how could anyone say this has been anything but a joke? I mean, I don't think it's possible that they can be this inept. But then again, it is NASA. So, should I be shocked? Yet, I still kind of am shocked. I don't know. Uh, I mean, look at the hoops they've made me jump through. The latest update was Jessica telling me that I had to cancel the payment with my credit card. So I emailed them asking for a cancel. They replied and said that I needed to wait 30 days or else have NASA send them a letter saying that, I was like, no, just wait 30 days. It was almost there. And it would be released. Well, on 7-12, that money was released. And again, I paid NASA. And again, it says pending. And there was no decline message this time. So who knows? Maybe they finally will get it after this weekend. I have no clue if my request is closed or what's going on as of today. But we will find out on Monday. So... That is the story as of yet with the FOIA request, uh, Freedom of Information Act, and boy do I feel free, you know? And lastly, surprisingly, the most asked question that I get in emails, you'll never guess what it is, or maybe you would, is what is that song that you play at the end of your videos? So I'll tell you now so that nobody else emails me about it. I've already had to respond to this email over and over and over and over again. It is from a site called Jingle Punks, and I remember years ago that it used to come with GoPro. When you used to use GoPro cameras, you would get a free uh, pass to this site. It's not free anymore, I don't think, or I don't think it comes with GoPro anymore. 
The site is called Jingle Punks, and there's an artist on there that is absolutely awesome. Uh, they're called Cape St. Francis, and the song that I'm using is called Tell Em How, but they've got some awesome stuff. The stuff you're hearing right behind me right now, that is also Cape St. Francis, so it's kind of got that low, slow tempo uh, that kind of builds up, kind of exciting. And then also this song that you're hearing now, also Cape St. Francis. And as far as the song I use, Tell Them How, they even, and they do this with all their songs, they release individual parts of it. So for instance, I can start the Tell Them How now without any percussion. See? So they've got each of the parts of the song, then you can put them all together if you want and make whatever you want. So uh, if you'd like to donate to this channel to help me make more FOIA requests that take six months, uh, it'd be awesome if you became a patron. Uh, that's at patreon.com slash jaronism and hello to all my patrons thank you guys so much you are amazing and if you go over there and you sign up to become a patron today I would be willing to bet that it was the coolest thing you've done all day that's uh, that's my guess I could be wrong and to head out we will watch these two people they are the newest uh, patrons of jaronism and so you can see their absolute elation and let's head out with tell them how by Cape St. Francis so just remember to do your own research because if you do You'll never again believe what you're taught. Till next time, guys. This is Jaronism. Peace.